Today we're talking about the DJI Ronin SC. The SC stands for Super Challenger to Balance. Okay, I'm just half joking about being super complicated to balance. It's actually not that bad. Once you get used to balancing this gimbal, you're gonna be fine and you'll be able to do it in no time. Maybe for the first couple of times, it might take you a while, but after that, you really get used to it and you'll be really, really happy with results of the balancing and the results of the gimbal. Now, the reason why I bought this gimbal was I was looking to step up my game a bit. Sure, I love shooting handheld shots, especially when you slow it down with a high frame rate, your shots look fantastic. But sometimes I wanted to make a nice smooth shot and I needed a gimbal. I did not want to use a big gimbal like the bigger Ronins, so I decided once this came out, it was perfect for me. I mainly shoot on a mirrorless camera, mainly the Sony a6400, which is a nice light camera, fits perfectly on this. Just a heads up, this is obviously not my Sony on the Ronin SC is my Canon. I'm just using it as a prop pretty much because I'm shooting right now with the Sony a6400. Gives me a little bit better shot than this camera. So it's a prop for today. Hope you're okay with that. Now, maybe you've already picked up the Ronin SC or maybe you're thinking about buying your first gimbal. This would be a great gimbal for you if you haven't used the gimbal before. Now, I've used several other gimbals and I love them. Now, this for me was super lightweight and very easy to travel with. It has the locks on it where you can lock it up and pop it in your backpack and you're ready to go. A lot of other gimbals just can't do that. Plus, it's lightweight, much lighter than the Ronin S, which is the big brother to this, of course, and a little bit smaller, which makes it work perfect for me. Now, I use the Sony a6400, which is a nice lightweight camera. I normally pair it with the Sigma 16, a fantastic lens for that camera. And it works really well on such a light gimbal because it's a light payload. So now I can mix those two and I get the shots that I want. Of course, if your camera is a bit heavier, you're looking to use a bigger lens, it might not work perfectly for you. But for the most part, I think this gimbal can really work well for certain situations. Now, I use this gimbal for all kinds of situations, whether I'm shooting B-roll or if I'm shooting A-roll and I want to change up the shot just a little bit, you can use this gimbal. If you have interviews and you want to have a little bit of movement in your shot, this is perfect. It'll give you just a little bit of movement without that shaky camera look, which I really can't stand. But this will allow you to shoot those interviews and make really, really nice smooth shots. Now for B-roll, this thing's fantastic. It's super lightweight. I took it out one time and I used it for two hours straight without putting it down. Now, my gun's got a fantastic workout and I was exhausted afterwards, but it goes to show you that you can carry this around for two hours shooting the shots that you want and you're not gonna get overtired and you're gonna be able to keep going. You can't say that with a lot of other gimbals, especially the one-handed gimbals like this, after a while, they do get heavy. Of course, I use a light camera, which really, really helps. But hey, if you're gonna hold it for that long, that's pretty darn good. Now, I think for the most part, this gimbal is a great little gimbal. I love the fact that it's lightweight and it handles my lightweight camera. But of course, there are some negatives about this gimbal and of course, all gimbals out there. But some of the negatives about this one, the biggest one for me was the fact that it's super difficult to balance it with the phone attachment. I wish it was much easier to do. The other thing I don't like is that it comes with a little adapter that's not a Manfrotto plate. It's kind of a hybrid of in between. It's, it's, it's not something that we would normally use. I like to be able to interchange my plates and my cameras with my tripods and other things. You just can't do with this. This thing only works with a Ronin SC. I mean, that's fair enough, but it would be nice if it also fit other tripod mounts and other adapters. I think that would be great. Now I have a quick release plate on this to make it a little bit easier to balance. I think that's a really good way to go with this camera. I leave it on so it's balanced most of the time. And if I'm always using the same camera, I pop it on, I check the motors. Most of the times it's good to go and I'm ready to go within two, three minutes of setting up the camera. You can't say that with a lot of gimbals. They are a pain in the butt to get going, but this one for me is pretty easy. Now let's talk about the app a little bit. The app is pretty good. It works for the Ronin S and the Ronin SC. There are lots of drawbacks on the app, but for the most part, I think it works really well. It gives you lots of different functions. It helps you balance it. It helps you with the creative tools on there, and that's great. It takes a little bit getting used to, but if you play around with it, I think you will find that the app is pretty darn good for the Ronin SC. Can we just stop and talk about how fantastic my lighting is right now? It's around 7.30, almost 8. 
kind of golden hour. The sun is shining right through the trees. Thanks, son. So some of my favorite things about this gimbal are it's easy to use. That's got to be the number one thing. But it also gives you lots of different options for different modes. I love using this in the underslug mode. Now, another thing I wish it had was an extended arm. Some of the other gimbals have arms that you can hold on to it while you're holding it low. I really wish you can get that. Now, of course, you can get an adapter for that, but I wish you had that already built in. Uh, it would give you a little bit more stability and give you a little bit more creative control. I said before, you set it up, you're ready to go. It doesn't take you a lot of time. That's fantastic. Plus, most of the creative tools on the app are very easy to use and they work really, really well. I love using it in different modes, low angle. I haven't used the 360 too often because it's a little overused and I think if you don't use it properly, the shots just don't really work that well. But it's an interesting feature to have on a gimbal, especially a smaller gimbal like this. When the Ronin S came out, I thought that was the coolest little feature. And of course, now that I have the SC, I do use it, but it's not as cool as I thought. Anyways, I'm losing the light, so that means it's time to go. You can't argue with the sun. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and if you have a Ronin SC, let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this gimbal, and maybe what the worst part of this gimbal is. If you haven't bought it yet, take a look at it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.